What is going on everybody? Chris here. Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. So tonight we have a night drive and to be totally honest, a pretty simple night drive. I just have somewhere to go. It's about eight miles away and I'm going to let beta take me there. And I really, really want a no intervention drive where I do nothing. Probably not going to happen. It's just, I just don't think we're there yet. Uh, maybe a no disengagement drive. So maybe I hit the accelerator and the car can uh, do everything else though, without me taking over. That would be great. So right now, as you can see, we're on the dirt roads, moving over for this car, not doing the best job and turning on the left turn signal. Okay, yeah, that was a little goofy, but it did it. Uh, it did turn off the brights, so I should mention, I have the auto brights on. When you are on full self-driving beta, if uh, you initiate it, or Tesla Vision, if you do not have a radar in your Tesla, you have to use the auto brights. Well, kind of. Whenever you turn on autopilot or full self-driving, the auto brights automatically come on as you can see here they're they're being controlled by the car you can turn them off if i push the stock forward like i just did now the auto brights are off and normally i do not use them a very nice left turn there and oh yeah not not avoiding any potholes uh, <laughs> um so i i don't normally use them because I, I haven't had a great experience with them but i will say lately i've been kind of experimenting with them and I, they've been working a little better for me. They're still not perfect, but I am liking them. And for the purpose of this drive, I will leave the auto brights on so we can let the car control kind of everything and see how it does. So as you can see from all this, car not avoiding uh, any type of potholes yet. Although uh, I think a year or two ago, Elon did say that's coming eventually where the car will try to avoid those, but we don't have that yet. So normally, honestly, on the dirt roads, I just drive myself mostly because the car just goes a little slow. Uh, I, I can go, you know, 30 or 40 on this road. The speed limit is 55. And uh, the car will usually go about 25, but that's fine. We'll let it do it for now. It does a pretty good job. Um, like I said, just a little slower than I would do. So let's uh, let it go ahead, see if it can get us into town, do a little downtown driving and, and see how it does tonight. And a huge shout out and thank you to my newest enhanced autopilot patron, Jeffrey C. Welcome to the frunk. All right, approaching this right turn here, cross traffic is going 50 or 60 miles an hour. And actually at night, for me, it's kind of nice because you can see headlights. And so you know if somebody's coming or not uh, from very far away. The car, I do not think uses logic like that, although I have no proof, I just kind of feel that way. So I see some headlights. Let's see, the car is still creeping a little bit. It needs to stop. And I'm gonna hit the brake because it is just too far out. And of course they turn right, but they did not use their turn signal at all. So thanks a lot for that. If they had used their turn signal, I would not have had to disengage. Man, humans, come on humans, stop sucking. So turning out onto the road, really good acceleration. Uh, that's really unfortunate, but I will say the times I've taken that turn, it pretty much always asks me to confirm. So it'll creep out a good amount and then it will pop up with the message. Um, press the gear stock or accelerator to continue and then I have to confirm although the car usually always does the turn correctly I need to let it know that it's safe so uh, unfortunate uh, occurrence in, in that situation so a little bit of braking there uh, not necessary at all I'm gonna report that I had my foot in the accelerator but the car seemed to correct that on its own so that was no good. Um, I haven't really experienced that so much at night. And you can also see as we're going here, the performance of the auto brights, um, they're, they're doing pretty well. So they've been off for most of this because we've had a lot of cars on the opposite side of the road, staying off. And then as we pass that car and it becomes clear, it just takes a second and they should pop back on, but maybe not. <laughs> we have another car here. And there you go. So auto brights pop back on. There is a car there though. So boom, they turn right back off. So they're, they're pretty good. Um, pretty good responsiveness to the cars straight on. The biggest is if you have some, someone coming around a bend or something, that's kind of the biggest weakness. So the car really confident going around those bends. As you come up to this intersection, if you've been watching my videos, you probably know the car sucks at it to be uh, quite plain. So it stops here at the stop sign when really the stop line is way up there. Now it is a very strange intersection. So we're moving up and we should stop here. Huh, that was actually the best the car has done ever. So checking for visibility and whoa, hey, this is, wow, okay, it did it, cool. That was the first time 
it's ever completed that without me intervening. First time ever. That is so exciting because normally, um, and really good job on this right turn has never really been a problem. Normally we stop back at the stop sign and then it gets all awkward and like never goes. Um, so, hey, we had a successful, um, a successful left turn at that intersection. First time ever, I believe. I, I can't remember any time it's done it correctly. So that is super exciting. Oh, what is this? What is this? We're stopping here. You want to stop here? What's the problem? Wow, that was really strange. I've not experienced anything like that before. A forward collision warning, I assume is what that was. It didn't have any text. And then the car moved off to the right just a little bit like it thought it saw something um, and then slowed down significantly. So not very good there, reported that one. Um, so yeah, not, not the best night drive so far. All right, so approaching this right turn here, a little difficult even for me to see, like at this point, uh, okay, now, now I know where it is for sure. The car has it on the display very nicely and really nice right turn, a little wide, nobody's there, so it doesn't matter. And I have noticed that if there is a car uh, that would be in the way, the Tesla will kind of start wide like it did there, but then kind of fix itself and, and move out of the way of that other car. So uh, that was very good. And then a left turn here shouldn't be a problem at all. And bam, going right around that left turn kind of on the line a uh, little bit, but again, nobody's there. So uh, personally, I don't think that is really a big deal. Moving around that debris, very nice, very nice. I didn't see if the path was planning to do that, but it moved away from those uh, branches and things and doing it a little more here. All right, so coming up to a stop sign here that is kind of obstructed by a little tree. Car handles it well. I didn't see it on the screen um, until after it was visible um, from the tree. Wow, really uh, rolled the stop, but it was really good. <laughs> Actually really liked uh, that maneuver, what it did right there. Um, but it handled the stop sign perfectly. So I'm not sure it didn't, I don't think it said stopping in whatever feet, but uh, either way, the stop was very nice. All right, and here we go approaching our final turn. We have a left up here, so changing lanes, and then we need to turn left into this little complex. And the left turn lane here just barely starts to open up. So we'll see if the car can handle that. Going a little fast. Um, and yeah, we actually went right past our left turn, just completely past it. Turn signal's still on. Okay, so it turns the turn signal off. Let's see if it can reroute. And it does, it reroutes. And just to another left turn, we'll see if it can handle this one. So moving into the left turn lane here correctly this time. So it seems that because the left turn lane wasn't fully open, um, I'm just watching here. Ooh, man, oh, that's bold. Okay, no, that was perfect. That was great. <laughs> There's plenty of room there. Um, so, wow, that was very good. Um, because the left turn wasn't fully open, the car, I don't know, it just, it just drove right past the left turn. I'm not sure why, but then it quickly rerouted fixed itself and made the next left turn. And then, you know, here's our destination. It's coming up right there. So that's really perfect. Um, I, well, not perfect because it messed up, but it fixed itself really nicely, which is what you need. Sometimes you miss your turn uh, or you can't make your turn for some reason. No big deal. You just need to fix it without, you know, the alarms going off or jerking the wheel or something crazy like that. So really good. What is this? We got somebody on a bike in front of us and the car sees them. I actually did not see them. So they moved over for us and we're going to pass them. I would give them more room than that, personally, but he has plenty of room. Wow, very good. I'm glad that, it, I mean, it saw him very clearly. Um, I saw him on the display before I saw him. So, very cool. Um, making the left turn there, and boom. So I liked it. I mean, we still had a couple, like, um, phantom brakes and stuff that was really annoying. And to be honest, my night driving's been pretty good. I haven't really experienced those, but hey, there you go. They're on camera, so now I have. Um, so I, I would, I was thinking this drive would be like a seven, but I'm gonna give it a six because that was just like, you know, those mess ups were really stupid and basic, but um, overall, not bad, simple drive. This is the way that people will use beta when they get it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Look forward to talking down in the comments and you will see beta in the next video. Mm -hmm.